Hello guys, in this video I continue the new series of creating exam project with Laravel with help of AI and topic of the day is creating database structure which is phase one according to our plan MD and this database structure was created by ChatGPT and first I wanted to look through that manually and what I want to change and what I do want to change is remove batch and exam target date which i will not implement and also change role to just is admin and then from here i will ask claude to transform that into models and migrations of laravel so i open claude in the terminal of cursor this is how i usually use claude code inside of cursor because then it shows the code in cursor and then it's easier to look through that code and change the code in cursor and also I use cloud code with dangerously skip permissions because it's well a demo project so I don't mind if something goes wrong of course I've read the horror stories of Claude deleting some system files but in my experience with Laravel project nothing dangerous actually happened so far on demo projects so we have cloud code running i'm on pro plan so i will use sonnet 4.5 although i've heard a lot of good things about opus 4.5 and probably i will upgrade to max plan soon to offload bigger tasks to opus 4.5 but in this course i want to show the capabilities of sonnet on a cheaper plan so more of you would be able to use it so anyway my prompt is this this is the prompt look at plan and transform this structure into models and migrations and this is important how it is testing the models and migrations in my experience it should run migrate fresh on the database and often it fails if it generates migrations in wrong order or something like that that would be the actual test instead of creating model unit tests in laravel this would be kind of faster but also i will add one more prompt ask questions for ambiguous columns because some columns are not perfectly clear and for that i will switch to plan mode with hit and shift tap a few times now we're in plan mode and for now we are running and it will ask the questions for the plan and then i will confirm that i'm happy to execute and there we go in roughly a minute we have questions from plan mode about various fields i really love cloud code plan mode because with arrows you can go up and down and make choices for difficulty i'm happy with enum i was actually thinking to have a separate database table but for now let it be enum enter time units for the exams how much it took i think seconds is better as it says for more precision so i will choose seconds score type percentage is probably more widely used and tag support it identified that there is a tag table but there's no tag pivot table and you know what i think for simplicity let's just skip tags altogether don't create tags table at all update the plan md accordingly enter and then we submit the answers and it will still prepare the plan we're still in plan mode it will update the plan and then we will approve it so this is the actual plan and i'm thinking is it still in plan mode or is it trying to already execute that and by the way you see that flickering in the background this is a well-known bug that anthropic have still not managed to fix it's reported multiple times so this is the downside of using cloud code inside of cursor if i use it in just terminal it doesn't happen so maybe i'll switch to terminal in the future prompts but for now let's just wait for it to finish what it's doing now by the way interesting thing for some operations in cloud code sonnet uses haiku model so the lighter model instead of sonnet 4.5 or opus 4.5 okay i've been waiting for it to do something for five minutes i think it is kind of stuck and i'm kind of regretting that to use plan mode for pretty clear plan so i will reprompt it outside of plan mode so shift tab one more time proceed with models and migrations and let's see what happens now okay now it kind of woke up and it will proceed with implementing okay and now i see it started changing the plan and then we'll probably yeah ticked off the to-do list item and we'll proceed and then i will continue this video after it's done or after something important has happened okay and we finally have the result after like 15 minutes in total which was pretty surprising but also it generated more things that i expected so it generated factories and cedars as well
And did it run my great fresh seed successfully? Yep, it did with no errors. Okay, so verified result. Now time to review the code. As I mentioned, this video series will not be vibe coding. So yes, I'm instructing AI to do something, but then I will try to review manually pretty critically. So for that, usually what I do is go to get changes and see the changes here. I will probably do that behind the scenes and will stop this video if I find something I need to change. This is interesting. After looking at Laravel models, I see that it created even attempt answers has many through two level deep relationship with attempt and answers. We'll see how we will use it in the actual project later. With database seeder, I kind of dislike that it removed the original user factory with test user, but thinking about it, we will still create new users for like students and administrators. So maybe it's not a big deal, but generally this is actually what AI tends to do with database seeder, create new seeders instead of default Laravel seeder. This is not the first time I see that. So just keep in mind. In this case, there's a separate exam platform seeder where users are part of it. So it makes sense now. So we have two users, admin users, and then student users, 18 student users. Then seed categories, seed questions, and stuff like that. This is pretty cool, and we'll see how it looks. Actually, this is hard to evaluate just from seeders. We'll see how it looks when we have some kind of functionality visually, and we'll probably fix those seeds or do some manual changes later. For now, on the surface, it looks logical. And for a majority of factories, it also generated some specific methods for states like user admin state, or for example, category factory. No, this is without a state, but for example, attempt, this is in progress attempt, this is completed attempt, or for example, question factory. Let's see, we have easy, medium, and hard questions with image and without explanation. So this is also very cool. We'll probably use that in tests and in the functionality. So yeah, after manual review, I'm pretty happy with the result. I haven't seen anything that needs to be changed immediately. Probably I will find something when that's actually tied to the real functionality we will generate and code later. And usually one of the parts of my review is to see something that I need to add to the guidelines to not repeat the same mistakes later. But in this case, I don't have anything to change in the guidelines. The only thing I would have done differently probably is maybe not use plan mode in this case because it took like five to six minutes and I had to reprompt because maybe it was stuck. Actually, out of curiosity, let's see the usage, how much it used. So 26% of my current session, which is just this prompt. I haven't done anything with Claude else this morning. So yeah, relatively heavy prompt, but now we have eight or something database tables created. So that's it for this video. Let's discuss what would you have done differently. Maybe you would plan differently or, and the final thing to not forget is actually commit the code because it would be much easier later to review kind of phase by phase because if I start prompting for something else, then it will be more changes and much harder to remember what was done when. So models and migrations commit. For now, I'm still doing that locally, but later we will publish that on GitHub. So now we're done with phase zero DB structure. And in the next video, we will go for authentication, which is mostly done to be honest. And then we will manage the question bank from filament admin panel. See you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow or in the next few days. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any of those videos.